Okay. Um, obviously, uh, very tough loss, um, very disappointing. Uh, really felt like that we would come out and uh, play really our best game. Got off to a good start. Uh, things were going good. You know, I think uh, the big picture of the of the deal is we had the three turnovers, and you know, one of those turnovers led to a touchdown. That was really the difference in the game. Uh, Tennessee didn't turn the ball over. Um, you know, they had a good third down plan. They were almost 50 percent on third down. Uh, their quarterback made some plays with their receivers um, in some one-on-one -on -one situations. As far as that goes, uh, very disappointed. Um, you know, but I will say this: our kids fought till the end. I'm proud of our kids' fight, uh, but obviously this is a very disappointing uh, loss at home. Um, we give Tennessee credit, and we congratulate them. Uh, they had a good plan. Their kids fought hard, and uh, they found a way to win. Like I said, they protected the football, and and we didn't. And I think at the end of the day, that was really the determining factor of uh, of why we're have a loss. So questions. When, after Jarrett's second pick, did you have some thought about changing quarterbacks? Just kind of taking it You know, we really felt like, you know, going to the game that Jarrett gave us the best chance of winning. And just, you know, he fought till the end. And, um, but obviously we came up short. Do you reassess things at quarterback this week? You know, I mean, I'm going to watch the film. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll have a plan moving forward, whatever that is, you know, to get better. Bottom line is we got to get better. And we got to get better as a team. And like I said, I'm, I'm very disappointed with our performance. Like I said, I thought we would play better. We had a, a very solid week of practice. I'm disappointed for our players. I'm disappointed for our fans. Um, not happy. Gus, what was the, uh, the problem with the pass defense today? It looked like Tennessee. Had you know, I, I, I think it looked to me like um, the quarterback put a lot of balls short on the outside and uh, on where his guy could catch it or no one could catch. I know there was four or five that were like that. And, uh, you know, that was – they made the plays and they made some third down and long plays, you know. Um, and like I said, that we had trouble getting off the field, uh, which is really uncharacteristic. You guys, you talk, you talk about quarterback, but, I mean, do you look at offensive line, what you're doing in the backfield? You know, I, 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 I think we got to look at everything right now. I mean, uh, we didn't protect very well. Uh, I did think we ran the football good in the um, – in the first half and the second half, we didn't run it that much. Uh, you know, the third quarter, like I said, we didn't have the ball much. I think we had some three and outs, and the defense was on the field a, a long time. And uh, but it, you know, we, we need to look at everything. And uh, from an offensive line standpoint, I mean, for really you know all positions. I mean, like I said, turning the ball over three times uh, at home, not good. What do, you, what do you say to Jared about those turnovers? Because obviously, they were, the ball security was an issue late last season. Two interceptions against LSU and three today. Yeah, we, we got to take care of the ball. I mean, one, he was under extreme duress on our trick play. I mean, that was a tough, tough deal. The first one, we got to throw the ball away. With the pass defense, just how much were those problems kind of compounded by the fact that Jeremiah and Jamel both won the? Yeah, J Jamel, you know, he, he he fought hard and had to had to he couldn't finish the game in the second half, and then Denson had the had to play. You know, Denson's one of our leaders. I mean, uh, Denson's one of the better players we have on this team is like a coach on the field. Anytime you lose him, that's that's extremely tough. Um, and really tough to tough to not have either one of those guys. But still, hey, that's part of it. And we got to have other guys step up and make plays. Like I said, you know, just looking at it with the naked eye, that quarterback made some good throws. And, you know, their, their receivers made great adjustments. And a lot of them were underthrown where he could catch or nobody can catch it. What are your feelings right now about your staff? You, you know, right now, I mean, my feelings are – um, I'm disappointed um, for our team um, and everything. I'm not ready to sit here and make any kind of uh, talk about staff or players other than I'm disappointed. Uh, we're going to watch the film, um, and we're going to get this thing corrected. And that's my responsibility as a head coach. I mean, you know, whatever it takes to get us corrected and to finish this thing the right way, I'm going to do. Looks like you went to Malik uh, Miller as the tailback there most of the second half. Yeah, Booby Booby uh, uh, had a problem, you know, with his with his shoulder, kind of a neck uh, issue, and then so, you know, uh, he was out. Malik is really one of our third down backs, and um, you know, a bigger back to protect. And we knew in the, especially fourth quarter we were going to have to protect. And you know, Malik's done a good job coming on and and uh, doing a solid job with everything. You got 
Shivers and Schwartz more involved, especially in the, in the first half. Were they still limited some in what you could do with them just because of what they know in the playbook and the scheme? And you know, I think both those guys are getting to where they, they know a, a lot of what's going on. And uh, both of them are, you know, impact type players. Were you shocked by how many, how many encounters you lost one on one with your defensive backs? I mean, you got beat deep one on one a bunch of times today. It's not usual for you. And like I said earlier, you know, I, I think that uh, there were some one on one situations and the ball placement was, was very accurate. And, and their guys made plays. I mean, you, you got to give them credit. They made plays. We had a couple of opportunities again, you know, that we kind of missed an opportunity or two. And a game like that, you can't. They made plays and we didn't. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a frustrating part of it. Yes, you guys came into this season with championship aspirations. Yeah. Now you're sort of going to have to battle to be a 500 type team, maybe. Yeah. Uh, what, what's going on? Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're going to have to stick together in that locker room and we're going to have to fix it. And, like I said, that's my job. And we got to get better and we got to. You know, you can't keep doing the same thing every week and then two two weeks in a row. You know, we've uh, turned the football over. We didn't uh, we didn't make the plays when we when we had to. So uh, we got to rally and we got to finish this thing the right way. Take two more. Do you feel like you need to get Anthony Schwartz some more opportunities with the ball? Just in the yeah, I mean, I, I think he's one of our big play guys. Every time he touches the football, he does something positive. So to answer, to answer your question, yes. The way that Malik Miller was moving the ball down the field, do you feel like that he's going to see some more time? Yeah, I mean, he, you know, yeah, I mean, he he could very well could. I mean, he's he's playing good football right now. Is there any concern about Jared at this point? I mean, he had his own struggles last week, and then this week it's the turnovers. You know, I, I think it's big picture. Um, I'm not ready to sit here and say anything. It's just big picture. We got to get better, and we got to we got to do better. That, that's what we got to do. Sir, thank you.